So, uh, in Python, it's an, I will not say it's a crucial part, but it's a needed things that sometimes we may have to work on this file handling part. So we can easily create a read and write and all using this file handling. And for also the file handling, there also an important module called the OS module. We'll also learn in the upcoming days. So in the ways waste module, we simply have to means if we have to uh, use or need to use the directory or the change directory and all or same sometimes add directories, then we definitely need to be a little bit habituated with the waste module. Okay, so for file handling, there is a four major thing we can do using the file handling. And is read, one is write, means uh, read, write, then append and read, write. Okay, so for that, we can simply use what function is called open function. Okay, if we first, let's, check that which, which one is our uh, working directory. You can simply input the OS module and OS dot get CWD. This is my working module. Okay. This module is presented. Now create one simple text file there like users one text file called sample let's create some line of text We write a uh, simple just four uh, nonsense lines there. Okay. So save that file, save it. And your voice is not clear. Actually, the power is cut now, so I have to I have to use the from the mobile. That's why you is it a little bit better now? Okay. So Let's save that file. Okay, now forget it. So this is our working location. Now uh, to open one file, we have to simply write like open, then our file name. Because as it's presented in my same directory. Is my skin visible? Yes, sir. Okay. So if my voice is not audible, then interrupt me in between. Okay. So um, in the file handling, if we need to open one file, you can we can simply use the open function. Okay. Is that open function? We can uh, as and as I am using the same directory. In the current in the current one i'm uh, working there like this one this directory this is where my jupyter files also presented that's why i need not have to purposely mention that file but if we have to change that file location and all then we have to mandatory like this location of file we need, need to write here and then
I had to write like my uh, file sample dot txt. But as I am from the same directory, I did not have to mention it. Okay. If we write there, and we are using one variable called f to catch that file. Execute. There is no error. If we called it, you can see that that sample text is already printed. Okay. That's uh, we can uh, open and uh, text file there. Now in Python, there is four types of uh, reading, writing supported in our module. Okay. So uh, four types. I mean, I means one is reading, simply nothing but we can read any file, okay. and then we can. Uh, goes through like which kind of operation we need to know then one another types of operation we can do called the writing the file means when you modify that file okay then another type is called append it's simply nothing but we can append one file one into another and there another it's called read and write okay by default in python when you simply open that file then it will simply by default read it as a reading mode. We can see that written mode as the reading mode. But uh, in our general uses, we can purposely read that which mode we will be working on. So there is one called sample.txt. And for reading mode, we can simply write comma and then R. Okay. This simply means. means uh, this simple and means we'll opening uh, we'll be opening our file into reading mode. If we write like this, and from that R, if we change this to W, then we'll be uh, reading our uh, means opening our file into writing mode. Okay, and if we write like from that position of R, we can write A means we'll be uh, opening our file into the appending mode, and another is reading and writing. For reading and writing, we simply write R plus. Okay. This is a different mode of how we can write. So for general purpose, we simply use the reading mode as the writing will be maybe interrupting our file and it can simply edit and modify the file part. So that's why we in general, until unless we did not have to use that uh, W file, then we will not creating that thing. In general, we can simply write like to open our sample file txt and it's on our reading part okay now if we write like print f dot there is many methods you can think those are the methods you can see that we generally use if we simply write the name f dot name okay, then the file name is written there and one thing is that when you open one file, you have to, uh, don't forget it, you have to close that file. Otherwise, if you we'll keep opening, opening one file, then another file, then another file, then it will simply uh, over exceed your maximum capacity in your system. Okay. Maybe it will uh, run across the maximum allowed file that can, that Python can bear in your system. So, Whenever we'll be opening one file, if we did not have to use that file, then we'll simply close it. So that's why uh, one you can simply write here like our file name if then dot in our close. So it will close our file. If we again start to uh, write like f dot name, execute that, then it will simply execute it because uh, our file is already uh, means it is stored there in, in that variable, but we are not able to perform any kind of operation, okay? Because this file is closed, like any kind of modification and all. If we check which mode we are already uh, opened that file, you can simply write dot mode. You can see that any kind of operation we are not able to print, okay? Because we already closed that file. So that's why we have to first open that file here 
like if equal to open our sample dot txt and it's our reading mode Okay. So we ex explicitly had to close that file. Okay, so maybe there will be chances that the same file can be read again or override again. That's why we purposely had to close it when we will be open and file using that open method. So that's why we can simply use that context manager. Okay. So using that context manager, it gives them the advantage that we can easily automatically uh, close that entire file. So we did not have to purposely or explicitly mention it that to open that file like here we will do it done like f dot close. So with creating and that context manager, the syntax will be written like with in our open. Okay, open our file, say sample dot txt mode is our reading mode r and as our file name if then colon then enter that block of code okay. enter that block of code oh, you can simply what kind of operation we need to, we had to do or not you can simply write in there and automatically purpose of okay you can simply write here f dot mode. The mode is printed. If you write f dot close here, we do not have to. There is the no uh, argument is passing here. Okay, you can see. Because it's already closed if we using that one. So it's general, it's better. We will be simply using that with part with open then our uh, function a file name sample.txt our mode, which mode we will be working on, read mode, then as our file name. Okay, file name is which uh, variable will be passing, then in there. We can write uh, we, whatever operation we need to do. Okay, there is some uh, function is like uh, one thing is called read lines. Okay, if dot read lines. Okay, say write like if underscore content. So it will simply nothing but a read was with. Uh, lines written inside your file and if you want to print that so simply you can see that uh, in the list format each and line will be taken as a string and as a single list element and it will be printed and as because there is the end of a list element that's why the backslash in is automatically added here okay so that means after that line there is a new line okay red lines simply are nothing but it is read your entire lines presented inside your files okay but there is also one method is called like uh, read lines read lines simply you can see this is read line and read lines you can write the read lines if I print, it is nothing but reading one file at a time. Okay, one uh, single line at a time. It will first read that single first line. Then, if we again write like this, okay. and then again print. 
So as the first line is already printed, if we again re-execute that entire code block of code, you see the first line and the second line is printed here. Okay, read line is nothing, but it will start printing one line at a time. Now, when you try to use that, I mean, uh, reading that lines, you have to control there. Means if there is tons of uh, tons of lines, means thousand thousand lines will not be matter, but there is billions of lines will be there inside your code. Then if you execute that, it will take a lot of space. It will take a lot of space in your memory. So sometimes you need not have to use some kind of portion there. So you better have a better control when uh, you will be using the red lines and all. So there will be you no know, such kind of huge mess uh, when you will be creating. Okay. So as you can you already see that uh, here when will be uh, their function read line is be written that time there is one extra space is they be providing there's the huge space if we don't want to use the space you can simply write like as i already said uh, that in the print function there is function called there is a, a method called end you can simply just ending that method without using the backspace line now if we again like if content and another red line and then print our statement now you'll see there is a no new line is added there okay or also you can you can also have a control like first open that file okay as we are using that the uh, context manager so we did not have to purposely use that the uh, close file so we did not have to purposely close that file so already if we exit that the block or the chunk then it will automatically exit it okay read as if then suppose it's better to have control like for line in a print line and end is here nothing but blanks so that's how we also without using that the read lines you can simply use our basic loop and you can simply print that one. Okay. Now, uh, there is also sir? one, yeah. Uh, hello, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, sir, uh, so basically, what files are we talking about? So, basically, you wrote the file in Notepad, right? Hmm. So, um, basically hmm we can the open. thing i want to say hmm. no no i'm saying is it uh, is it only for text file or can we use any python file means you already working on a python directory why you need to open a python file there I was, I was showing like for this text file, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I understand your uh, means point of concern there. That why in real life we had to use the simple because of text file there we can able to use the other other file in that person. We'll come later that part. Okay, like in the real life scenario. What is the purpose of using the file? Like this is just a beginning. Okay. For now, file handling means we can open any kind of file. Okay, either it's a text file, it's a JPEG file. Okay, we'll come later. Today, today I will show you how to open a JPEG file. Another thing is sometimes you need you had some purposes to open that file. Okay, even for not now, 
but when you do the data part like data cleaning some kind of data operation will be there you have to after the data part sometimes you have to store the data okay like here i am just simply tried out like from the opening and file the one later on i will show you like some kind of operation you will do and now you have to do kind of some basic file operation then you need to store the data in your system or in your server so for that part also we had to use that file handling part okay. and for general you need not to why you will use an python file there because you are we are already working on a python directory you can simply use Hmm? Yeah, just to know what are the, what are the lines are there. Yeah, but for as a general, the file you will be working on. Okay, like text file, CSV file. Okay, then call image file, uh, uh, audio file. Okay, APA file. Like the file you will be working on in general, like eh? you can easily open in this file directory. And for each and every single types of file, you can have its like different kind of office. For showing the basic, the text file is simple. Okay. Means concept of read lines and other lines. If I start working on the image file, then uh, talking about respect to the CEO, talking about this uh, context uh, in your pixel size. And those color dimensity it will come. Okay. So this is so for JSON file also similar one. Yeah, for JSON file you can simply work like uh, the text file I'm working. It is nothing much different than the JSON in when you're working on JSON file. But uh, JSON, uh, we we when we will talk the CSV file, it we will more understand that how it will work. Okay. Yes. Sir, what is meant by with, sir? You have written here with open. With, file. yeah, that's I told you. With is nothing but when we'll use a context manager. This is called a context manager. Okay. So, from using the context manager, it is nothing but uh, creating one part and automatically closed it. That's why we written using the with. Previously, we had to close that, like f dot close. So, close that enter file, what will be opening there. But now, as it we have to explicitly close that file so sometimes if you forget to close that file there can be overwritten code there can be modification with there or maybe deletion of that file so that's why it's better we had used a context manager with open so it will automatically close that file we did not have to explicitly mention that okay yes sir so with open is better yeah, with open is better and it's a general purpose in most, most people using that with open. Alter or unless just uh, you have, have to single or two lines of code like uh, read that code, write that code and simply save that part. That time you can ignore it. Otherwise, it is better to using that with open part. Okay. Get CWD, what is meant by this? Is it a method or what? No, I will uh, come back to that when we'll be uh, talking about waste method. There is a module called waste module. In the waste module, there is some method is called get CWD. CWD is nothing but your current working directory. Okay. okay. There will be creating current working directory. That's why get CWD. Current working directory. Working. Current working directory. OS means is an operating system. Yeah. OS means operating system, but uh, here OS is a module. <laughs> uh, we, we will study. OS module, there is some module we will, when we start, then we'll study here. Because OS module is an important module for any kind of directory operation, you need to have to know how to work there. Today I will not cover this module. Later in later some sessions I will cover them. Sir, you told append right? Append yeah. in the sense we have to uh, like we'll add the files or what? Yeah, there are uh, like in a simple example there is four line of text files is presented in a .txt file. There is another four lines of uh, text file is text 
presented in another dot txt file if we want to simply just merge that two text in into the one that time we will use append okay like if you want to add like uh, from this file only similar file only we can add not from the other files like other file which is the uh, extension should be same like txt file to txt file okay like if we have same text sir then we can uh, have multiple files mm -hmm. you can it's up to you like if you want to append that it's up to you. If you want to append that same kind of files into the one, then you can also do that. Okay. But generally, we don't do that. Okay. okay. I will show Only you. For this okay, sir. Only for this notepad, we can do this method. Uh, is applicable. No, no, no. no, no. That uh, this is simply work for txt file, as txt is really easy to understand. For the first, we can do any kind of operation like the text file is not only comes with the dot txt it can come in many format like your csv format json format okay and it comes with other kind of operation and functionalities also okay dot txt is more simple to use and simple to explain okay so similar way we can use uh, go for pycharm and all also in that also similar file handling only will have yeah 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 in python in PyCharm and the other, it depends upon the co uh, your in your means uh, code editor. Jupyter notebook is represented in your cell like structure, like in your entire yeah. one cell in your PyCharm and the other code editor, it's completely create represent as a single file. Okay, so it's yeah. you you will see in your other like PyCharm or you can use like uh what is called notepad spider. plus plus spider whatever you will be extends them there is one note is called this okay. i'm not remembering one note there is one uh advanced notebook that is really uh means easy and important that part those all thing if the extension you will see that dot py means it will nothing but simply one represent one script okay this is if you'll see the jupyter notebook it will not represent as a dot py extension the extension will be different like dot ipynp so obviously it comes with another function is like it is a cell like structure which in each and every cell they can run and code so in Jupyter notebook, you will not create means that IP one will be is not you can uh, create one Python script or you can create a Python module there. Okay, that part is different. But hi, yeah, you can if you uh, code that PyCharm, just you cannot do like those cell like structure. Okay, in PyCharm or Spider or another one. Mostly we'll use Jupyter notebooks, sir. Yeah, in general, for our uh, data science, data analytics parts, we generally use Jupyter notebook. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So, okay. So I will try to uh, cover one part, then we'll end the session today. Then mostly if possible then uh, i will try to finish that file handling part within the next week so as next week i took one session so i will monday take another week, sir. monday monday will be the session tuesday because i was not free on the monday okay. uh, one thing we can do next week monday yeah. and tuesday we will take two sessions okay if you guys able to handle Yeah, yeah, just like before Puja. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. So, because the next week, where is, where is, when is the Diwali? Diwali. Mm -hmm. 25th, sir. 25th since Monday. 
two weeks. Okay. No, so, two weeks to go. So next week, I will try at least uh, finish everything before. Oops, so we can start without any like hesitation. We can start the Oops concept. Okay. So, uh, exception handling. Yeah, yeah, we will do that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Last thing I will try to cover. Like, suppose, as I told you, that's the part of the element we can still uh, control in our hands. Like, if we open that file there, okay, open that file and there is one simple like call read. So if we write it f dot read, and it will simply read that enter file. Okay, if we write contain this f dot read and print our f content simply read. But we can also control it. Control it. Suppose we have suppose in general we have to print only the twenty elements first 20 elements in there so if we write the 20 there print there then only the first 20 elements until that it will be printed okay if we again repeat that code the next 20 element the next 20 element is printed okay we can see that's why a new line is created then another next 20 element okay then, sir, it's not visible, sir. Python file. Not visible? Yes, sir. It's not visible for me. No. Yes, sir. It's not visible for everyone, I think. Just no, only no. me. I think you had minimized it due to that. We got no, no, no. It's because of my internet. Okay. I'm sharing screen. Now it's screen. gone. I'm sharing one screen. Is it yeah, visible sir, now? It's it's visible. It's visible. Okay. So that's why I'm telling you that you can write as many times you need. Okay. Let's say suppose increase that file. First, we want to print that first 30 character. Then we want to print the second 30 character. Okay. Then third. Then fourth 30 character. Then last 30 character. You can see one by one it will be printed. So my point of thing is you can easily control that how many uh, character you want to print there. Okay, either it is a first or second or third, or uh, maybe something like uh, you can. In general, if you not like that, you can simply using a while loop. Okay, if we write one while loop here. Say as if and if underscore our file. Suppose I will not write that. See, this time I am controlling size. Size is equal to say 50. First replicator I will be printed. So if content equal to read or file size total now say create one loop while our total length content is greater than zero because if the first 50 element is printed then it will start again going by the next one, then the next one, the next one. So the digit space or the uh, total character will be decreasing from 50, then it goes to the next 50 and next 50 and all. Okay, that's why if I will be printing until that the entire character present in a text file is be uh, until that the last value. If it becomes zero, then it will be ended. No. So while the length is greater than greater than zero, 
then we will be printing okay content and the next character will be added like if content is equal to same if dot read our size okay and one but for a better visibility you can use like uh, and say something like star let's execute that or say something like so you will see that first 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 50 character will be printed there okay means up to this time this double is this is our first 50 line 50 characters then the next 50 character will be printed from there to until this space then the last so this is how you can control okay file read and write there is some or uh, tech tactics you can do we'll uh, start over later in the next session but before finishing today let's uh, do how we can write suppose if we write like with open then say suppose sample to dot txt now w so if we write like uh, now the mode is changed we still now we will be using the read mode now you are using the write mode okay now we have to open it one sample to the text file in write mode as in that means that file name let's check now the thing is this file you can check that the sample 2 is not uh, visible okay means this is not presented but if we write sample 2.txt using uh, w means write format if that file is not presented it will automatically overwrite and create one new file using the sample 2.txt if we execute here okay it is executed now go back to our database refresh you can check that the sample 2 nothing is written there it's already created here okay so that's why i told you when we write that file we have to have a little bit concern because it generally overwritten but if the file or the same named file is already presented there or not so suppose if we withdraw the first statement suppose we write like if dot write and some statement you can write like any text we wrote here execute that come here you can see that that file is already written here sorry the text is already written here because we are using the right mode so you can any kind of modification you can do okay so as i'm using that context manager it will automatically closed so there is no problem within it okay so i will add there for uh, today's session then we'll see in the next week next week we'll try to cover more we'll try to uh, plan accordingly before that the books concept how much we can proceed okay so do you have do you have guys any question sir what about the test what about test it will be simple you need after 
just concept is means uh, whatever I will be try, try to teach you just from there it will be change the question. It's not like an heavy things that you have to put it in your mind. Okay, it will be it is simple. It's just for no, no. because it's, it's your learning. No, that that is till date. No, 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 not till date. It will be until your uh, function. Okay. It will be until function. Sir, why we got here uh, charts? Like symbolic we got. Why we got like symbol? So as I told you that after the while print statement for purposely like we have to for a visibility I am giving the three stars so that there is the representative of one ended of a chunk of the quotes so means this 50, 50 chunks will be ended there that's why it's written as a star okay so first 50 after 50 we will get yeah after 50 first 50 then there is a chunk means first chunk is done then next 50 this chunk is done and then next 50 you may ask that there is not 50 uh, 50 number of character yes that's right there is not 50 number of character yeah. but as it's finished there means there is nothing presented so whatever presented it printed then the triple star means the visibility icon you can tell that part is printed that's all okay because in your text basically file, it prints the remaining number. remaining part because after that 50 is need not need to be it's only uh, 15 or 17 uh, character is there so that the rest amount is printed Okay. Okay, then uh, I am ending the session here. Okay, I will give the recordings, uh, send it to you.